This video is about a chart trick. How to rebase start values to compare price trends of commodities, stocks, indices, currencies and consumer goods. Let me share some examples from some of the reports of top consulting firms. Now here, if you wish to compare the price trends of crude oil, ethylene and low density polyethylene, then I need to rebase all their prices at a common point of let's say one unit and see that over a period of time, the same commodity is available at maybe 1.7 units. And this tells me that one of the product is far, far more expensive than it is compared to other products. Now you can use this for Forex. You can use this to gauge whether the commodity prices or let's say consumer goods or any such utilities have they grown more expensive or are they available cheaper compared to let's say 10 years back or 15 years back. So how is this done? Let's see. Suppose in this data, I have picked up one year's stock prices of two stocks. One is Facebook or Meta and the other is Amazon. Their scale of prices are not common. And that is why if you decide to make a line chart today, let's see what happens. I click on the line chart and from this chart, you can't make out that which stock is outperforming the other in a given time frame. So what we're going to do is rebase both the start prices with a common value of let's say hundred. And how do you do that? Let me share that trick with you. First, I pick up the formula wherein I choose the day one price of meta. I divide that by the same cell. And I ensure that the denominator is locked with the function key F4. And then I multiply that with 100. Now, of course, when you're dividing a number with the same number, it's going to be one and one multiplied with 100 will give you 100. However, when you copy and paste this down, you realize the denominator has not changed. However, the numerator has moved to day two prices, which means you are indirectly saying 208.7 divided by 209.8 whatever the number is, it's a fraction, it's a number less than one, and that should be multiplied with 100, which means you lost half a percentage over one day's stock prices. I'll copy paste this, and I'll do the exact same thing for Amazon. So I choose the day one price, I divide the same number by the same number, however, I lock or freeze the denominator, multiply with 100, and then I copy paste the formula right till the end. Now the starting points are common and that's what I needed. So I choose the entire data. Now I go to insert and then I click on the line chart. Now this gives me a clearer picture that in this one year time frame, Amazon stock has outperformed Facebook or Meta stock. Sorry for this heading. This should have been Meta. Yeah. And once I've made the change, I can see clearly the time frames and how have they outperformed. In fact, somewhere around August 21, they were neck to neck. And if you want to show a story out of this, you can add a semi transparent highlighter. For example, I can click on a square box, create one shape of square, ensure that the properties of this object has a fill color with transparent background. So maybe 78% or 80%. I'll ensure there is no outline. Maybe I'll go ahead and even change the color to keep it a bright one. And once this is done, I can clearly create a story out of this that, hey, this is where they start diverging. Or maybe this is the point. And I can then add a call out to illustrate my point through a small narration. So call out is out here. I'll put it here. Keep a pointer at this point. Maybe even change the color and fill in some text which could narrate the incident or why it happened. So that's the importance of rebasing the value to 100 and then comparing the price trends over a period of time for two or multiple points. Hope this was useful to you. Do let me know in the comment section below.